Um, after struggling a bit against UCF, uh, you had a efficient like 16 points tonight. So what specifically was working uh, tonight? Uh, really, I just stuck with my routine. Uh, kept faith in the system. Coach Howard trusts me. And it's shots that I work on every day. And I take those shots with a lot of confidence. So the ball is not falling. I got to find out something else to do. I got to play defense, talk, and just be a leader. But when it's falling, that's just a plus. And I help my team win. How you got, Ken? Hey, Isaiah. You guys had a season-high 48 points in the paint tonight. Can you talk about how you were able to dominate down low? It's called our two big fellas. I think Austin started out with 11 points down low, like by himself, and then – Hunter just dom dominating, taking over the second half down low. Like, good post players. Uh, we got a lot more post players that people haven't seen either, but those are the main post players we have right now. And they're, they're doing a good job. And I'm not going to take away from our attackers. Uh, Franz, me, Sean, D, Eli, Mike, we try to get two feet in the paint, and then they're going to overhelp, and we got our easy threes that we make every day. Shane Werner. Yeah, Isaiah, you guys finished the non-conference schedule undefeated, but what do you think you can do even better as you look towards the conference schedule? Uh, protect the three-point line. Uh, that's been a huge emphasis. Toledo came in making a lot of threes anyways, so we were prepared for that, but we got to do a better job of locking in on Coach Howard's discipline, uh, you know, calls, like his defensive calls on shooters especially. We got to can't, can't help as much as when we got Spencer Littleson sitting in a corner or we can't help as much as we got Jackson sitting at the top of the key. So that's just little things we got to lock in better on, that's all. Anthony Broom. Nice portrait in the back too, Shane. Yeah, Isaiah, um, you know, last year you guys, you didn't play March basketball, but we've seen over the last two years how Coach Howard has come out on a quick turnaround. And, to, you know, this week is a little bit different, but, you know, with all the uncertainty, how impressed have you been with his game prep on a quick turnaround and, and you know, how you guys have responded to it? It seemed like he was ready for it. It seemed like he had Toledo on the back of his mind already because there was rumors. But other than that, Coach Howard, he's always ready. He's always ready for the sudden change, anything that happens. Uh, he's going to prepare us. And he's just, he's just the type of guy, type of coach that just wants you to be a great, great man off the court, a great man on the court. And that's just doing all the little things and just being the best person you can each day. And he will hold you accountable, as you know. Ryan Sang. <clears throat> yeah, Isaiah, can you, can you take us through the timeline of, of when you and the players sort of found out that you weren't playing North Carolina State, uh, when, when you found out you were playing Toledo and how you guys prepared for this team? Uh, pretty sure it was two days ago. Uh, we kind of heard the rumor because they had a cancellation before and they had some uh, – guys test positive in their party uh, from the uh, tournament they were in and we knew because they have a different testing than us that it was going to be unlikely but we still prepared for them anyways and then I uh, said so to our two-day prep so that day we came in and coach Howard told us as we were about to watch film and then we were just watching like we didn't watch any we didn't watch any film on anything like we weren't prepared uh, two days ago for this game so we were just focused on ourselves because as coach Howard said at the end of the day that's going to be what we have. And then with, with how crazy this season has been, did, did you maybe expect something like this would happen at some point in the season? Yeah, my, it's, a, it's an unpredictable world right now that we live in. I do not, sorry. Well, it's an unpredictable world that we live in right now, and it's important that we just stay ready. Uh, you know what's you know going to happen. Uh, we had one. There could be more down the road. You never know. But like Coach Howard says, always be prepared for the change and be ready to adjust. Brendan Quinn. Isaiah, I just want to build on that for one second. I mean, you've been around. You've played college basketball now uh, for a few years. And I imagine you have a routine and an idea of what it's like, you know, to go through your season. So when you get this kind of curveball thrown at you, um, what is your immediate reaction? Um, how do you kind of process? Uh, I kind of take it as – like we're still playing that same team. So tonight we were still no disrespect to Lido, but in my mind we were I was already ready to play NC State. I'm not going to change it because we play maybe a mid a low mid low to mid major team. You got to come out and practice these habits and act prepare like you're playing a high major or like someone said earlier NCA tournament game because that's what it's going to be like. And Toledo is actually going to be a really good team. They're going to be a really hard team to beat in the MAC conference. So. Shout out to them and then shout out to them for even giving us a game because we could have practice today.